the crypto space now and see what Laddie has. Laddie, yeah. Laddie uh, doesn't have milk, but Laddie has. <laughs> You have Pistol IMF? At this point. Oh, I thought you had IMF. No, no, because oh, I know okay. how you like your milk. <laughs> but I'm just going to brisk with this one <laughs> right now. $66,000, um, that's what we have for Bitcoin. Uh, it did try to breach that 70000 level, but I uh, will see a pullback there. Um, Bitcoin miners, uh, to headlines now, Bitcoin miner revenue surged about, uh, from $100,000 to about a $1 billion dollars. Uh, monthly, you know, showing um, growth and uh, market evolution um, right there. To another headline now, U.S. government has transferred about $2 billion worth of uh, confiscated uh, Bitcoin. Uh, the funds were moved um, yesterday, and that's according to um, data from Look on Chain. We know with uh, crypto, you see all of those um, transactions right there um, on the blockchain. Uh, but uh, let's uh, discuss some most of the pressing um, issues now. We have um, joining us Adid, Adid Ayo, Adid Bajo is a co-founder um, of uh, Sahara, joining me via Zoom. Uh, great to have you on the show. Yeah, once again, thank you. Right, so we know the burning issue right now, um, the proposed hardship uh, protests, and definitely we've seen, you know, um, in, in most countries, uh, where they have uh, protests um, like these. We've seen crypto and Bitcoin actually uh, play a role. Talk to me about what you're expecting um, if this actually um, goes through. What role Bitcoin is going to play in this? Uh, well, it's quite obvious, definitely, uh, because you know it's possible for governments to, to put some restrictions on some certain level of transactions uh, for people who are trying to support this certain protest. Uh, the government's been what they had the, the, the potentials for this process to uh, to go through. But when it comes to Bitcoin, it's kind of uh, most likely possible to to fund most of these protests uh, from diverse uh, uh, geopolitical areas across the continent. So people from UK, uh, from US, anywhere can decide to fund uh, this protest by paying a certain amount of Bitcoin into several wallets of the protesters just to be able to support uh, the, the ongoing issue across the country. So uh, just Bitcoin, any, any cryptocurrency can be used. Uh, so far, uh, uh, it is uh, something that can be received via wallets. And this can, of, of course, be monitored or be controlled by the government. Right. And, and definitely we did see that, you know, happen now uh, with the um, NSAS protest. But, you know, coming back to um, the technology, you know, at this time, we've seen a lot of talk about, you know, Ethereum ETFs, the Bitcoin ETFs. Um, talk to me about how these ETFs are impacting the tech. We know some people are in it for the money and some still are in it for the tech, as they say. Yeah, so when it comes to the entry aspect, I mean, even the tech uh, folks are always in it for the money. If there is nothing about financial gains, nobody will go into tech. And of course, all investors as well are also in it for the monetary aspect. Uh, so the ETF kind of make it possible for uh, people who do not necessarily need to bother themselves about uh, detecting the technological aspects of Bitcoin, Ethereum, or probably even with uh, the, uh, uh, um, the difficulty in getting into the market uh, from getting their own wallets to buying on exchanges, from securing their own wallet. But they want to participate in the price fluctuations. So ETF basically makes that possible for them to be able to get involved just by uh, 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 getting them involved in these institutions uh, through the uh, the exchange-traded funds. So ETF makes that possible uh, for them to be able to get it done. But uh, when it comes to the technical aspect, yeah, it also makes it possible for majority of the tech founders uh, to also, because it then becomes more stable, you know, becoming more stable, also becoming more uh, global for people that are not in the uh, in the frame of uh, Bitcoin or uh, Ethereum, other cryptocurrency, you know, community to be also, it is increasing uh, the the wide audience. So most of the tech founders also see uh, the need to continuously, you know, invent, like creating more wallets, uh, increasing the lightning speed, uh, also creating uh, areas around, let's say, chain fusion technology and ICP, which enables people to transact at faster and cheaper rates. So a lot of things are always involved when institutions get involved in the whole uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, or the cryptocurrency ecosystem. Right, definitely all about ETFs at this point. But thank you so much. Uh, it was great having you. I did I did by Joseph, co founder of ICP.hub, Sahara. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for having me. All right, so uh, any, there you have it.
um, this market, we know how it plays into everything. That's crypto. Yeah, well, I hope you're not calling attention to your space or to the crypto space. It is going to play a role, even if protest, I don't call it. In this protest period, <laughs> it is going to play a role. You don't, you don't want the tension there. Right. Trust me. Right. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Landy. So that's it on the program. Thank you so much for being a part of Business Incorporated. We'll have another fresh experience waiting for you tomorrow. I'll see you tonight for the Stock Market Report. I'm in enjoy my Bye-bye.